All right, anyway, as we were saying, tools. All right, here we are with Levi. He was telling me about this tool that he sort of invented from two other different tools. It's a hybrid, bit of a hybrid. Yeah. Okay, so tell us about it. So this is a, called a, it's called a micro stop. What this is, is just a super controlled countersink. So if you've ever counters, used a countersink to, you know, put countersunk holes in wood screw for wood screws or yeah, let, any let, other material. Let's explain that because maybe yeah, people don't know that, works. but it basically that's how you would put this screw for a flat flush. Screw. Yeah. It's, unless you're really good, it's very difficult to always have that come out flush. You always wind up with one that's too deep or a screw that slightly sticks up a little bit. Mm -hmm. And you can do it on a drill press. There's a depth stop, but they're finicky. And this allows you to put it into a cordless drill and have a super reliable depth stop every time. So I'll go ahead and clear out one of these holes. Just chuck that into the drill. I've already set the depth on this one for that size of screw. So you can center that in here, hold that, come down, and it'll stop you pretty much perfect every time. How do you set it? So the way this thing works, I'll go ahead and take it out of the drill. There's a locking ring back here. So you unthread that, and then you separate these sets of teeth here. So oh. once you separate that, every turn of this, is moving it, I believe every tooth is three ten thousandths of an inch. So it doesn't have a super wide range, but it is very micro adjustable. So you can really dial it in. So tell me about what do you do? This is once too... that's locked, it's it, there's no slip to it because they're teeth that are locked together. Right, right. Right. Uh, so this is actually two different parts that you combined? Right. The way this works, these are aircraft mechanic tools and they come with a set of countersinks, but they're made for flat rivets. So the angle is 100 degrees where your typical screw is 82. So you have to go out, you can buy this tool and then you kind of have to go find a threaded back countersink that is 82 degrees that usually you have to buy from a different vendor. It's not, not an expensive tool, but they typically don't sell them at the same store. And then they just, you know, this, if you pop this off, it's got a quarter 20 thread on the back to thread new ones in. You'd have to have a little cross or take it off of there. But that's pretty much it. And you can get the countersinks with the center post or without. Either way is fine. What's the point of the center post? Just to make sure you're not off center. If you've got you know, a bunch of these to do and you get the kind that's just pointed, it is possible, especially in soft materials, to be off a little bit on the hole and then your countersink is off to the side. Uh, yeah. But if you can get one with that center post, it does help, especially for wood screws. How much do you feel like this cost, like both both pieces. All together, this is around 100 bucks. Oh, okay. So the little countersink I think is 20, and I think this body is 80. They make these in all different sizes too. If you're working with larger hardware, this is the biggest countersink you can put in this particular one. But these do get much larger. And a lot of it, it was in the countersink itself. So most likely, if you're doing this kind of stuff, you already have something. Yeah, Maybe you yeah. don't have something that fits, but if right. you're doing a lot of holes, or what you do, that you do this actually for your job. Yeah, you've you've drilled a lot of holes for so production this. design. If I'm turning something over to uh, whoever is going to be actually doing the final build, this gives having finding this gives me the ability to control that the countersinks are going to be perfect all the way through, and they don't have to fight with it all the time. It saves saves a lot of effort. Great. All right. Cool. Thanks a lot, man.